Hello dear friends welcome to Shiksha Mantra so let's learn here in this particular discussion but before we start we have to find out what topic we have for discussion today Wow what's this fan boys have you ever heard any such term like fan boys in english grammar Yes dear friends today we are going to discuss english grammar and our topic is fan boys but before we start can you tell me one thing who these boys are and whose fan are they yes dear friends today in this edu blogging of shiksha mantra we will try to find out who these boys are and whose fan are they fun facts yes dear friends fan boys in english grammar you have uh, several things but before we start our discussion of a uh, fan boys it's better for us to understand some fun facts first tell me what is of english grammar why do we learn english grammar we learn english grammar to actually uh, make some correction in our english sentences and to produce some beautiful sentences so our goal is to produce some beautiful sentences in english and in such a way that our sentences comes out to be very much refined but for this refinements we have to learn some fun facts about english grammar and what are these fun facts actually in english grammar we need glues yes dear friends that glue which stick the different loose ends together so why do we need glue in our language actually when we produce some sentences these are sentences are fragmented they comes into our mind in fragments but when we produce it meaningfully we have to add those fragments together that means all the loose ends must be tied or glued together to form a complete sentence and here the thing which comes into action is conjunctions yes dear friends conjunctions are the glue for sentences in english language and as you know conjunctions are of two different types subordinating conjunctions and coordinating conjunctions here we'd learn some fun facts about coordinating conjunctions but before we start this discussion it's better to find out how fan boys get related to our coordinating conjunctions actually that's the answer we are going to find out today na so let's begin and find out what's there what's the fun factors and what is in fun boys but before we start it's better to meet the key players so who are the key players yes dear friends f a n b o y s so they are the key players f a n b o y s so so far every time i faced this word i have uttered it as fan boys fan boys fan boys and you have already remembered the word and i can uh, assure you that if you close your eyes you don't need to look at this uh, screen and you will say we are discussing fan boys but what that fan boys is fan boys means f a n b o y s that means it's an acronym yes dear friends it's an acronym and there are seven characters actually these seven characters are the seven boys that we will use for our coordinating conjunctions and with this acronym very very easily we can memorize the coordinating conjunctions in english grammar yes dear friends if i suddenly ask you tell me what are the coordinating conjunctions in english grammar can you name them uh, you will start yes i can uh, it's and and then comes a but then so uh, uh, and then uh, or 
yes uh, there's also nor neither nor either or you will do like this but when you remember this acronym fanboys you don't have to fumble but very easily you can say yes there are seven players and these seven key players form the coordinating conjunctions of english grammar wherever you are in need of forming a compound sentence in english grammar you will seek help for fanboys and you will find out the proper coordinating conjunctions for your compound sentences and you will find it really very easy to find out a particular and perfect match for your sentence to produce it properly meaningfully with clear understanding and to express yourselves in a better way so we have to find out what are the fanboys yes dear friends fanboys there are seven boys in this group and these seven boys are actually the seven conjunctions so we have found out who these boys are yes dear friends they are for and no but or yet so so here f stands for for a for and n for nor b for but o for or y for yet and s for show so these are the seven boys whom we may call whenever we are in need so they are the fan of coordinating conjunctions they are the fan of formation of compound sentences so whenever you are in need you will just ask fan boys to appear before you magically you may create that hey fan boys come here and you will find out which compound sentence demands of which of them and they will do their job yes dear friends by remembering fan boys you can very easily understand and you can remember you can memorize these seven coordinating conjunctions in english grammar and that's all for today that's all from this particular edge vlogging in shiksha mantra we are returning very soon with another fresh and interesting yes edu vlogging here in shiksha mantra until then bye bye happy learning